Good day everyone and welcome to session recap. Today is 10th of April 2017. My name is Nenad and previous week was very, very good. I'm very happy how previous week went. We had a lot of profits. Well, in the midst of uh, different, well, uh, I need to say market uh, movements, we managed to grab some nice pips from our different setups. And guys, even today, uh, if you if you were paying attention to what I said uh, during and after NFP, you could have shorted dollar yen. I was really, if you remember, I was a bit worried that dollar yen went so far. But then again, I said uh, definitely it was due to participation rate and uh, I think that market simply uh, on Friday didn't read uh, the, the data as it should and definitely uh, now dollar yen has corrected dropping 60 pips from its high and uh, well you know guys uh, when, when, when you analyze markets you cannot just follow only indicators only uh, those chart patterns you really need to see some logic in it so that is why I said that probably on Monday dollar yen uh, will drop. I mean, for me it was a bit bit expected. That is, as I all as I already explained, that is due to participation rate. And uh, when participation rate is dropping, it simply cannot be good for uh, the currency. NFP was bad. Uh, unemployment was really good. But then again, maybe also during, uh, because Friday is profit taking, investors took profits before the weekend and today we saw a big drop in dollar yen, nice 70 pips dropping, so still it's good and uh, particularly I was trading today uh, both dollar yen and, and, and yen pairs also, uh, I went long on, on euro dollar, you could have read that analysis, but we will talk about it during the webinar. Uh, okay, so now before I begin, standard risk disclaimer, explaining that online education materials are developed by Admiral Markets Estonia for a global audience. So this is not MUK's opinion, but my personal opinion. And this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. Okay, so Admiral Markets UK LTD takes no responsibility for information accuracy. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market by accepting the risk. You're also proceeding further with me. Okay, and finally, this is a past week results. So definitely past week was very, very good to our trade setups. We had a lot of pips on table. Now this does not necessarily mean that uh, you actually made this, but if you made like 20, 30, 50 pip percent of it, it's still great. Okay, so it's still very, very good. Okay, again, I, I had some questions uh, about uh, participation rate. Uh, what does it mean? What is the particip participation rate? Uh, generally, it measures uh, the economy. And if participation rate is dropping, it means that uh, that economy is contracting. And I think uh, definitely on Friday, a lot of traders simply didn't know how to read the data after NFP. And uh, I, my opinion was that unemployment may have dropped due to participation rate. Okay, that is what I think, and that is why my primary. Uh, my primary trade was to go euro dollar long and dollar yen short. Okay, so still I think that the euro dollar might go even more to the upside, although it's uh, it already rejected from 70, 80 region, but it, it could go up. So I will be buying the dip. That that trade I will show you during the webinar. Uh, past week results, uh, euro dollar position on 25, pound dollar position on 85, Australian dollar plus 40, dollar cat 65, dollar yen position on 120. Definitely, uh, uh, we had a 335 pips in the pool and trade of the week was dollar yen. So this was clearly the trade of the week. 
Before I show you uh, past week results, uh, let's go quickly over rules and setups. So you always need to give price a breathing room. You can enter within 15 pips of the predictable level if it's an agreement with your system. It's called POC or buffer zone. You need to use scaling in if you wish. You do your own trade and money management. Respect your stop loss always. Add the spread to your stop loss. Even if you trade by ECN, always add 2 to 5 pips depending on the pair traded. Have in mind that we take only one position per listed pair. It's either position or alternative trade, whichever hits first. First touch of the zone is the most profitable. That's why we need to focus on the first touch. Positional trades are trend trades. Alternative trades are counter trend trades. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels can be traded independently of any position. Also, depending on time and volatility, we use profit stop after 20 pips, not less. Have in mind, the session recap setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Okay? Uh, Wednesday live trading is separate session. We do live trading on Wednesday. So these setups, today's setups, are valid until early Wednesday. Pay attention to my Twitter updates and have in mind that scalp trades should be done at or very close to important support resistor levels. All these levels are calculated by historical levels and Camarilla. Add these levels to your system, pay attention to trend, so you might find other trend-based entries. And the term that we use, pips pool, it means the maximum available number of pips you could have got on recap entries. Okay? So, for all people who join up now, this is it, okay? 335 pips. Euro dollar, we had buy position around 0,660 initiated after our webinar our buy position was initiated the trade okay you see it went in a drawdown that finally then finally jumped for some 20 25 pips and then it started to drop pound dollar trade we had two possible positions and our buy position was initiated this is the perfect entry in the zone we had a buy position initiated at 24.20, here you can see the price dropped to our POC zone, then it started to reverse, and finally it took off, providing potentially 80 pips, 85 pips. This, is also, this was also good, and you can see it here clearly. Guys, it's very, 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 you can see it clearly here. We had a nice rejection. Okay, here, from this spot, and definitely dollar-yen fell. Uh, I mean uh, pound-dollar, sorry. Uh, the thing with pound-dollar is, I mean, it's really one of the great pairs to trade. No matter, I mean, uh, you know, guys, how much I, I, I like and love Forex market, really. And honestly, guys, uh, when I started to trade uh, professionally, when I started to give setups on Forex Factory, I, you know, for people who don't know, my nickname is Terential on Forex Factory. Uh, I always thought that pound dollar is really one of the best pairs to trade, and so far, really, it has proven that claim. And I, I really, I can witness and I can testify that pound dollar. Indeed, it has been, in my opinion, for me, really one of the best pairs to trade when it comes to trend trading. When pound dollar gets in trend motion, it's extremely good for trading. Now, of course, during different whipsaws, during different uh, periods, we can have some losses. It's normal. Of course, in trading, losses are normal, as with other any other job. But believe me, guys, I've been 10 years in this market, and definitely I know that when pound dollar gets in trend, it's really, really great to trade. And these levels, historical levels versus now moment levels, are always respected. One of the biggest strengths, one of the biggest advantage in Forex market is definitely historical versus now moment concept. I simply don't know why other analysts, why other traders do not use historical versus now moment concept. That concept is something that is constantly providing us with great setups, with great pips, especially when historical versus now moment concept gets in our POC. 
point of confluence zone. And that is what pound, I mean, also other pairs, but pound dollar is simply, it, 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 it does not make any unnecessary whip sauce. When it gets in trend motion, really, it's, it's, for me, it's not hard to predict. So here, guys, I didn't expect, honestly, that pound dollar will reject perfectly from POC. That is why I said POC is like 30 pip buffer, 24, 20, 23, 90. But it came to 24, 19, 20. You see double bottom here at POC top. And definitely, bang, it shoot it. So this is what I was really, what I really liked about this trade. Also, guys, uh, uh, I also recorded uh, one, uh, three live uh, setups today. I will uh, upload it later. Uh, to our Elite Currency YouTube, but it's just for your reference, guys, uh, you need to know that I always trade what I see. So, dollar, yen, I, 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 I expect it to drop, okay? I also expected euro, dollar to go up. So, that is what I, what I really like to see and that is what I love to use. Uh, simply, I cannot go against myself. I cannot go against the rules that market imposed on me 10 years ago when I started to trade. So that is why maybe I was one of rare traders and analysts who said euro dollar will probably go up and dollar yen will probably drop. And it happened today. Now I see that dollar yen is dropping. It, it, it dropped almost 100 pips from today's high. It's a sell-off in equities. It's a sell-off of dollar, guys. Now markets read NFP properly. NFP was bad. Participation rate went down. So it's perfectly normal for me that dollar yen is dropping. It's perfectly normal for me, really. Australian dollar, another good setup. I said we could go long around 75.35. And here, guys, you see 75.35.45, bang, it went nicely to test this level that was of course previous double bottom also this was order block so it's not just a coincidence that it started to reject but it rejected from 75 35 45 poc zone dollar cad another setup that uh, i need to say it went fine uh, first of all we had a buy positional trade happened here but some people probably didn't enter because it was two three five pips shy from POC zone no matter guys what you did with our cat it, it shoot it up from POC then it dropped from uh, our 35 34 60 alternative uh, POC zone for sell trades you see drop perfectly making some nice rejection and dollar cat was very very good Dollar yen also rejected from, uh, I mean, this was the trade of the week. Definitely, it rejected from major support. Uh, alternative buy trade was initiated around 110, 20, 30, wherever you went, guys. 10, 20, 35, it went up, okay? It went from 110, 26, 27, and it reached 111, 45. Here, guys, you see, this was the setup. Only 30 pip, 40 pip stop loss, depending where your entry was. But then again, another good entry and dollar yen was definitely the trade of the week. Now, guys, I will show you today's setups for next two days. And uh, Mario is saying uh, GBP up. I'm, I still think that GBP could be sold a little bit later. I don't think that it has a great strength to go uh, to go up, uh, it's already very, very close to POC zone because my uh, uh, POC zone is around 24, 35, 50, but it's also, it could be 20, 25, so I, I will be looking to sell, definitely, I will be looking to sell. Uh, but still, guys, uh, Euro dollar uh, is long for me, uh, if, even if it drops. I would go long again around 0550 with stop loss here uh, going for these levels. Mm, 
Today, uh, euro dollar. Uh, I already uh, did a euro dollar analysis, and I uh, did a tweet also. And here, guys, you can see a euro dollar. We have bullish divergence at strong support. Here, you see price has made a lower low, while oscillator has made a higher low. This is so-called regular bullish divergence. POC zone, monthly Camarilla, weekly. Camarilla level. We also have historical buyers here. Uh, when I published the analysis, uh, uh, euro dollar was around 0 0.58086. Then it started to reject, and it went immediately to the upside. But yet again, even if it drops here, I will be again looking to buy it. So maybe, guys, if you went long after my analysis, good, no problem at all. You can scale out, whatever, uh, what I would do is, if it drops, I would go again long at this POC zone, and it's written here. Uh, I don't know if it will go down again and reject, maybe because I don't see any big momentum to the upside at this point in Euro dollar market. For me, Euro dollar now is, it's a little bit rangy. It's going up, but it's not uh, heavily bought. So it might reject, but I will be looking to buy this one. I'm happy for profits that I made today uh, from mostly from uh, dollar yen short, from pound yen short, and from Australian dollar yen short. I also went uh, in accordance to my analysis with a small skull trade. I took 10 pips on euro dollar, but I don't know. Maybe it will drop again, so I will buy it again. This is purely counter trend trade setup based on my NFP analysis, based on my uh, fundamental understanding, and of course, based on technical picture that I see here, re regular bullish divergence, uh, monthly support, weekly support, weekly strong support, historical buyers at this place. Okay, where could be sold? Uh, it's very small range, guys. Uh, it's only 60 pips for last eight, uh, uh, 14 days, so it's normal, guys, if you have the range of 60 pips, then it's okay also to take some profits. I mean, 10, 15, 20 pips is great. I mean, really, uh, euro dollar is ranging, ranging heavily, heavily. So, yeah, it's, it's nothing bad in taking profits. Uh, well, 60 pips is great, but I didn't, I didn't make Martin 60 pips. On my setup, I, I took only 10 pips because, uh, first of all, when I did this, I needed to zoom into lower time frames and to see uh, on five minute, uh, I, I took a five minute scalp entry. But for intraday setup, if this happens, I will be aiming for some, let's say 30 to 60 pips indeed, maybe even more. Maybe if I see momentum, I will go with full price projection towards 0690, but uh, we need to be very careful, guys. Uh, we really need to be very, very careful because uh, uh, huh, you you see th this is counter trend trade, and why we why we took a long scalp or why we want to take a long trade here based on technical picture, based on bad NFP, ba based on my thought about participation rate, okay? That it's dropping in US. So I think that there is some sell off in equities. Also, sell-off in equities means yen pairs going down because yen is connected to equities, guys. You need to know, yen is always heavily connected to equities. Uh, a lot of people are not uh, clear with uh, why uh, yen is connected to equities. I need to know, I need to just remind you guys quickly, when we, when we see bullish equities, it means that, uh, uh, well, Japanese usually pump their money overseas. That means they, they sell yen and buy foreign currency. But when it's risky, they bring back the money, creating demand for yen. It's called repatriating, okay? It's called a repatriation. So they're repatriating back their own currency. Uh, equities like Nikkei, like DAX, like, uh, well, we can also say SP500, uh, well, they, they tend to move 
definitely with yen pairs. So if you went short DEX today during London Open, if you're trading equities indices, then you made a nice, great move. Uh, I did uh, Australian dollar yen short trade that I will later I will present it. I will upload it to YouTube so you will see. But definitely, guys, listen to my uh, listen to my uh, trading logic because uh, I don't really uh, I don't know if you are an experienced trader or a novice trader. It doesn't matter. You can always learn something. Uh, new something good and I particularly uh, I don't trade equities but I have learned so much from my very good friend who is a professional equity trader he he's a full-time trader he only does it for a living trading equities so he explained a lot of good useful things to me so I I really uh, I we are always learning I might be the I might be an expert for Forex trading and for currency movements, but I also listen to other people who are also experts in other fields, let's say equities, indices, metals, and so on. But generally, guys, what I know is I always follow yen pairs and equities. That is what I really know of, and fundamentally, I think really that demand and supply and demand for yen are generally very 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 strong very strong so when you see dollar yen dropping pay attention to Nikkei pay attention to DAX pay attention to say SP 500 and see maybe 10 pips in Australian dollar yen is worth of not of 80 90 pips in equities because equities tend to move much faster than than forex pairs okay uh, yeah, I will. I will answer your question, guys. And Ilya, yes, just let's go with setup. So uh, let's get back to our favorite uh, forex market. I mean, it's my favorite market, definitely. Definitely, guys. This is what I'm looking at. Uh, again, if it comes here, I will buy it. Uh, and of course, if it gets there, I will sell it. Uh, pound dollar, for me, in my opinion, at this point, pound dollar is ranging now. Uh, I will be looking to sell around 24.50, 24.83, stop loss, add a little bit of spread, TP 23.65, TP 2.22.80. Position buy, I want to go long at 22.80. Mm, I want to go long at 22.80. I'm not sure that it will happen. Maybe it will, maybe it will not. I'm not sure. But still, guys, uh, 22.80 is a level that we could go long simply because there is a lot of confluence there and we can also see a lot of historical buyers. So I think that if the pound dollar gets uh, down to 2280, we could probably see a nice uh, takeoff because I will show you the chart now. We had historically good buying from that spot. Yet again, guys, probably we will get into a sell position uh, because of nature of this sell. Uh, I did a Forex Empire analysis today. Uh, that was uh, the, the part of agreement that uh, we have with uh, Forex Empire and we are always providing them with uh, exclusive analysis and uh, maybe uh, let's see I will try to find I will try to find it uh, now I will show you Forex Empire. Uh, I did a pound dollar analysis and uh, definitely I will be looking to sell. I'm thinking to sell uh, very, very soon. Uh, but yet again, guys, uh, my stop loss here, you, you will see it's very, very, very uh, tight, I need to say, simply because we have a potential buy breakout, guys. So this is my Forex Empire analysis here. Okay, uh, you see, uh, again, a low slide cannot be zoomed. I need to show you a bigger slide here. Let just give me a few seconds. I will show you a bigger slide. And here it is. So pound dollar guys, we have an inner trend line here. You see pound dollar has been dropping, then it broke through this inner trend line. It's trying to retest this inner trend line, but it's not just inner trend line guys. Here we have order block. This is order block, okay? There we have a 
descending trend line. Then we have 38.2. We have EMA 89, guys. And we also have weekly Camarilla H3 level. So weekly Camarilla H3 level means that there is weekly resistance here that hasn't been tested. It hasn't been, uh, hasn't been broken to the upside. So this is where I would go short, definitely. It's very close, guys, 22, uh, 24, 22, 24, 25 to 50 is POC zone. But yet again, you need to be careful because we can have a breakout buy at 24.85 if our zone is violated. Then we will put stop loss below last one hour low and TP is 25.65. Okay. Uh, this is uh, pound dollar, guys. It's already rejecting from very bottom of POC zone. You can see it here. It's already rejecting. So I'm not sure, guys, if you if you already read my analysis on uh, this pair. But definitely, guys, you can see here. Very, very, very. Uh, I mean, this price section is very clear. Uh, a lot of selling here, so maybe if you read my analysis today, uh, you know that uh, we could have gone short. Uh, Bilal is asking me what is POC. Simply said, guys, uh, POC zone is the zone where we place either buy or sell. The zone is where we might see rejection. Okay, that is the zone where we might see rejection. So if you see POC, it means that if the price gets here, it could reject. It's also called entry zone. But for let's keep it uh, professional, that is the zone where we expect the price to either reject or bounce. It's an entry zone. That is where we place our entries. So when price gets in the zone, we either buy or sell. That is called trading in the zone. We are not selling with any crossovers of moving average, whatever. We are selling the price or we are buying the price. So it means when price got here, I, uh, we want to sell it. Okay, so POC is place where we could see either buy or sell, depending on my analysis. So you need to read the analysis fully. Of course, uh, 2280, as I said, it's a very strong level historically, guys. So uh, 2280 is the level where I would definitely go long, but I'm not sure that it will be reached. Now we will have, and we already have, uh, a sell trade. So let's see if it gets for another sell. But if you are already short, let's keep it that way. 2280, guys. Here, guys, you see a lot of historical buying from this spot okay a lot of buying from this spot okay double top bottoms triple bottoms historically this zone has been good to buy into see breakout retest continuation then again guys here this is where some things happen double bottom here you see then another breakout retest continuation Okay, so another breakout with a strong Marubozu candle from 2280. So if it gets there close to the zone, we could buy it. But this is what is currently, what is currently, yeah, screen frozen. Okay, you should see it now. You see a lot of rejections in the past. See? A lot of rejections. Then breakout, and then yet again, you see huge Marubozu. And continuation, okay, pattern here, and here you see how it went up. So generally, I think this region is good to buy into. But as I said already, guys, I think uh, this is a clear sell for me now. I'm not sure where the price will go, but uh, if it gets in the zone again, I will sell it again. If not, for traders who already are short, it's nice. It's a good thing because uh, here it was a clear short from the zone. Australian dollar again, it's in downtrend. 75.70 now is sell position. 76.05 stop loss, 74.60 TP. Alternative buy, buy trade, 74.60, 74.20 stop loss, and TP is 75.10. Okay? 
this is Australian dollar potential trade setup. So uh, definitely Australian dollar has uh, has shown some movement that is a uh, bit 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 bearish. You see a lot of lot of rejection here. So we had a change of trend in Australian dollar after last RBA decision. Uh, yet again, uh, 7460 is really here the bottom. We have ATR projection lower. We have also L4. And generally, guys, here around 7460, we had some historical buyers. You see, this is so-called bullish squeeze. So this is squeeze pattern. It's called squeeze. If you're not sure what a squeeze is, you can go to my trader's blog on Adler Markets website and you will read about squeeze pattern here. But also, it's you see it's very, very bullish, uh, starting with this Marubozu uh, rejection, triple bottom here. So here you see, I think that it could reject from this spot. Uh, generally, it's uh, bearish, but counter trend trade around 74.60 while sell trade can be initiated around 7570 uh 7570 maybe even here but i would sell it a little bit higher definitely if we see a bigger bigger spike to the upside then i would go with this guys uh, 7570 it's exactly here at this spot between order block, okay, and here. This is where I would go for a, let's say, maybe a better sell trade. But even here, guys, you can watch out for 75.30. So maybe also watch for 75.30 for another potential sell. Because also it could start selling off from this region here. So pay attention also to 75.30. Pay attention, guys. Okay, very important. Uh, pound yen. Again, I'm uh, pretty much uh, inclined to sell on rallies. 138.60, 139.00, 40 pip uh, stop loss, and TP is 137.20. So... Uh, this is what I would do, okay, what I would do here, uh, 138.60, here, 138.60, you see, a lot of historical rejection here, now if we put Fibonacci from uh, this spot to this spot, you would see that it's 78.6, it's also top of ATR projection, and I think that it could be sold from this region. Uh, this indicator is ATR pivot point. Okay, so if you don't have the indicator, you can email me and I will send it to you. So this is an indicator that shows ATR pivot points. EMA 89 is moving average. It's EMA 89. Set on close. So Pound yen for me, it's sell on rallies, 138.60, 139 stop loss, 137.20 is TP. And finally, dollar yen. Dollar yen is also the trade that we could maybe think about it. I am, uh, I'm already short, guys, on my other account, and uh, I think the dollar yen could proceed lower. But if it drops to 110.30, this is the spot where I would think uh, potentially about buying it. Uh, a sell is 111.60. So this is what I would go with buy and sell. So if you, if you are already short in dollar yen, as I suggested on Friday after NFP, then uh, you could protect your profits now. I mean, that is what I would personally do and what I will do on my other account. But uh, here, it's 
where yes this is a mistake of course I will correct this so you need to know that it could reject from 110.30 it could reject so uh, pay attention to it okay because uh, I'm not sure that it can go sub 110 simply because uh, dollar yen is heavily supported around 110 see a lot of rejections here and here we also have a double bottom here so if you put Fibonacci here I I would go here this is the last chance for a long trade 88.6 guys big Fibonacci number it's also uh, where historical buyers have shown and it could potentially reject but if it gets to 111.60 again I would sell it again but it already is rejecting here so this was it now I will answer your questions I will roll the slides again and then I will start answering your questions Mihai is saying everybody needs a ton of indicators but they not follow price action uh, thank you Nenad for teaching us how to trade properly uh, thank you too for your kind words okay uh, Martin is saying any day I can get 50% of ATR is a great day yes if we can manage to get 80 50% uh, of ATR it can be really really a great day Ilya is saying because Japanese have negative inflation on yen since 1987 this is the reason why they buy equities instead of yen savings it can be the reason indeed Ilya amongst other reasons this is the reason too so I agree with you Ilya uh, next question is uh, uh, why do you also mention dollar yen, dollar yen slide? Because this was a typo on dollar yen slide. I have corrected it now. And yes, dollar cat is a bit sideways. Uh, Gaurav is saying, hello, T market is really slow these days. What do you think is the possible reason? Uh, generally, generally, I think that uh, markets now, depending which market, you are currently watching uh, the thing is how you, you the best to know about markets is and even though if you're not uh, if you don't know much about fundamentals and so on is to follow ATR so let's say that yen pairs are better uh, are better movers than uh, dollar pairs I mean where dollar is the quoted currency Euro dollar has only 60 pips range. Australian dollar has 46. This is, I mean, this is really low. Uh, but if you compare it to, let's say, let's say uh, Euro yen, 92. You can compare it to dollar yen, 92. You can compare it to pound yen, 128. You see, yen pairs are better performers. So yes. Uh, market momentum is not that big but the great thing is guys if you don't see any setup on euro dollar you can switch to let's say pound dollar pound dollar is still better it has 94 ATR but yet again guys if you already if you missed a POC rejection originally as I did then you can zoom into five minute time frame and try to scalp into market you can try a, a long scalp if you think that hard time frames will provide a long trade opportunity on euro dollar that is also what I do so when I miss positional trade guys I go and scalp let's say a lower time frame scalping trade so it's a good thing to do <coughs> sorry so uh, definitely guys uh, watch markets maybe uh, yes uh, uh, 
Bob is uh, saying thoughts about Yellen's speech later this evening. Uh, as I already wrote in uh, our fundamental analysis, uh, Yellen is due to speak, so it will move markets, but I'm not sure that she will mention anything about uh, potential rate hike or no rate hike and so on. Uh, the thing is, when you have a speech from important figure, like it's the chief of uh, central bank in US, Miss Yellen, the only thing when you can have a movement is if she mentions something specifically about uh, rate hike or rate cut or anything regarding the future cues of their monetary policy. So only then, guys, you will see some movements. But we don't know if it will happen or not. Still, she is due to speak at the University of Michigan. Maybe if someone from audience make, makes a question about uh, maybe rate hike, then, Bob, I think we will see some movement. But yet again, in my opinion, dollar yen is buy on the level where I where I uh, show you and also we can sell around the level where I showed because usually these questions and answers only lead to a short term spike in the market and later price tends to correct itself going in the main direction so I'm not sure that we will have some major movements today during uh, the speech of uh, of Yellen, but only if she men mentions something important to general, uh, to general, uh, generally about rate hike or their economy or some cues about future monetary guidance, then we will see some short-term spikes. Uh, Yonat is asking, do you trade dollar pairs during Yellen's speech tonight? Is it dangerous to do so? I personally will protect my profits. So what I do is protecting my profits, guys. That is what I do, really. So I will close all of my trades that I have before Yellen. But yet again, if I see dollar dropping in my POC zone, I think I will buy this again. Uh, Bilal is asking for indicators. Bilal, you, you really need to send me an email to tarantulafx at gmail.com and then I will send you the, the indicators, okay? So just send me an email. Eggles, I have a question that is not related to your setups. Uh, can you, Nenad, or someone make expert advisors and custom-made indicators like Under Market Supreme Edition Camarilla Indicator, ATR Pivot that is available to tablet or phone? Unfortunately, uh, I have a coder who works for me from time to time. Both Chris and I have a coders. Uh, but uh, honestly, I have never talked with them about uh, making indicators for, uh, let's say, iPhone or Android. I personally have iPhone. I am a big fan of iPhone. Much uh, For me, iPhone is, in my opinion, much better than Android. But uh, yet again, I only use my mobile phone to watch my positions. I never trade from my mobile. I mean, I, if I have a trade and I'm not close to my trading platform, I tend to watch uh, that. Uh, I tend to watch my trades on my mobile platform. So I'm not sure that we will make Camarilla on iPhone. Maybe I can ask coders to do it, but then again, I'm not sure that it will be free because we need to pay them to make some sort of indicators. But let's see. Uh, about Admiral Market Supreme Edition, uh, I'm not sure that Admiral Market Supreme Edition will be added to uh, iPhone or Android, but yet again, maybe th this will change in the future. Uh, also, guys, uh, there is an old saying, uh, what we uh, traders say, uh, usually it's connected to equities, we say sell in May and go away on holiday. So maybe May will be a sell-off also in equities. Uh, Martin, in USA this Good Friday the stock market is closed, but it seems that banks are open. How about Europe? Uh, I also think that uh, markets 
uh, in uh, in this Friday, let's see. Uh, I need to check the calendar, but I think that markets uh, will be open um, on Friday. I'm not sure. I just need to check. Give me a second, guys. I'll go to the calendar and I will check this. Okay, calendar, calendar, calendar. Let's see. Okay, so Friday, uh, Friday, Friday. Yes, uh, German bank holiday, GBP bank holiday. But dollar has the uh, dollar will be on move on Friday. So I think that uh, Friday uh, dollar pairs will move during U.S. session. Yes, Martin. During U.S. session, expect movement. Uh, <laughs> uh, Naivin is saying, my friend goes there and is attending the session. So yeah, University of Michigan, finally we can be market movers. Yes, maybe she, <laughs> I'm not sure, but technically guys, really technically, I think that Euro dollar could reject indeed from if it gets again here around the bottom. Uh, uh, Bilal, please send me uh, send email to Torrential FX. Okay. Okay, I need to answer the question. Uh, yes, uh, Leon, Friday is bank holiday in UK, but uh, yet again, guys, if you watch a Forex Factory calendar here. Uh, we will have on Friday bank holiday in uh, whole European Union, but you see dollar will have CPI, core CPI, retail sales and core retail sa sales. So uh, dollar will move on Friday, especially uh, dollar market uh, uh, is open, but, but also guys there will be profit taking on Friday. Uh, Chair Kane is asking, hey Nana, just got uh, here, are you going to show all slides again? Yes, no problem, of course. Yes, guys, so let's go with slides. And uh, if you have uh, other questions, we have still time for a uh, few questions more. So first slides, then you can ask, guys, no problem with it. Here is Australian dollar. Here is pound yen. So, and finally dollar yen. If you have some question regarding other pairs, guys, you can ask me. But generally, uh, you can see that the euro dollar is at support now. Pound dollar is close to there uh, to POC zone. Uh, yen pairs are when, uh, when yen pairs went up. But uh, I expect a sell-off, so uh, pound yen is sell for me, dollar yen already selling, so we might see some buying here, so let's see. Uh, Goran is asking about uh, oil, uh, WTI, uh, yes, uh, let's see WTI here, WTI it went up, definitely this is uptrend, so I would be paying attention to L3. This is, guys, order block here, L3 support, EMA89, buy on dips. For me, this is buy on dips. You see? Buy on dips. We also have a trend line, but EMA89 is acting like a trend line here. Also ATR low, so this could be a no-brainer buy trade from this spot. Uh, Hazelhoff, can you check? Euro yen record uh, 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 record red days. Well, uh, this is a bit of consolidation in Euro yen. Uh, this is the pattern that you see it's it's consolidating here. The price is going up, down, up, down, up, down. No clear direction. This is generally downtrend, but it could be a correction to the upside before next leg to the downside. You see, it's a bit of consolidation at the bottom. 
And also, guys, Kazakov, if you are watching price action intraday, it's making a higher lows here. So this could be rejection to the upside, then another drop. Is euro yen oversold? I think it is. I think it is. Euro definitely, definitely could be oversold. I don't need Camarilla to tell me. I see price action here making higher lows, so it's trying to reject. Yes, if you see divergence with RSI, definitely it is. Uh, another question, can you see a New Zealand dollar? Yes, New Zealand dollar here. Uh, tricky, looks like it could be sold on rallies. This is major resistance now. It's trying to break it, but then again, if it goes up, watch for 88 and, and, and 78.6 rejection. So if it breaks this high, watch for possible sell here and there, okay? Because this is now also POC zone. You see how it stops short on, in this POC zone. It's H4, EMA 89, it's top of ATR, so it could go down. If it breaks, probably it will go down here because this is generally downtrend. Christian is asking, Nered, if you have time for one more question, I want to know what currency you recommend to watch except majors. Uh, thanks for great webinar. Sure, Christian. Uh, you can always watch, uh, you, I mean, Euro New Zealand. I like to watch Euro New Zealand. Uh, I also like to watch Pound New Zealand. It's a very fast mover, Pound New Zealand. Also, uh, I like uh, Pound Yen, okay? And so th those are pairs that I watch, etc. majors. Pound Yen, Pound New Zealand, Euro New Zealand. And from time to time, I also watch, but I still need to do uh, extensive analysis and analysis dollar Chinese Yuan. Also watching for this pair here. Ilya, dollar cat setup. Uh, dollar cat, I don't see any setup at this point, except that uh, it's ranging. This is rectangle range, so it could be bought from this spot probably be sold from this spot, so watch for potential rejection here and potential rejection here. This looks like some sort of rectangle consolidation. It's sideways price action. Ilya, how we can uh, watch ATR pivot point function? Have you ever made a webinar about ATR pivot, how it corresponds to Camarilla? ATR pivot is, I need to do a, a it seems that I need to do a special webinar about ATR pivot. I usually use it in confluence with uh, Camarilla, so uh, stay tuned, Ilya. At this point, it's enough to know that uh, when you see projection high and projection low, it will always show dotted lines. When projection high and low are broken, then you will see that yellow line moves above projection line. It means that ATR top or bottom has been broken, as here. ATR of 40 was 73, today is 85, so ATR projection low has been broken. It means that a pair is entering into oversold territory, so you need to watch for other cues for a potential long entry. Same for short rates. Rachel is asking, is dollar yen showing T89 on H1? Uh, dollar yen, uh, T80, uh, if it rejects above EMA89, then yes, it will show uh, if it closes above EMA89, it will show a T89, so it might reject, then we could sell it again. If you sold it already, I already told you guys, remember, you need to protect your profits. So yes, Rachel, you're right. Uh, Bilal is asking, what about Pound New Zealand? Pound New Zealand is, again, sell on rallies, in my opinion. Uh, I would wait for a deeper pullback. This is long, so it, it, it's a long trend on four hour. But yet again, on intraday time frames, this could be a good sell from this spot if it gets there. A lot of, lot of confluence here, a lot of rejection, but it still needs to get a little bit more to the upside. On four hour time frame, if it drops here, it could be bought on dip. But it needs to be here around 7800, 
So watch for possible rejection to the upside here. Target will be H3 or H4 because here this is the spot for potential right shoulder. If this is left, this is head, this could be right shoulder. So potential rejection here, then drop. And finally, the last question, Eurocad, if we have any time left, yes. Last question, Eurocad. Eurocad, sell on rallies. Definitely, guys, this is no-brainer. It looks, but I don't know if it will happen. This could be sell. Uh, potentially good sell here. So H3, ATR top, EMA 89, uh, breakout, retest, continuation historical sellers so 4930 potential sell if it gets there if it doesn't get there well then see if the price closes above L3 then it might spike to the upside and reject but this is sell on rallies so guys thank you for listening let's enjoy another week of good pips expect new analysis tomorrow sign in for Wednesday live trading session and let's make pips together again, guys. I wish you a great trading day. I wish you a great trading week. And as always, guys, trade safe. Cheers, everyone. Bye for now.